What's up guys, it's Rob here, and today we're going to be talking about two of my favorite stocks, Sundial and Tilray, SNDL and TLRY. These stocks have both been doing incredibly well over the past couple of days. You can take a look for yourselves and see the chart. This is the Tilray chart right here. It has been moving up very much over the past couple of days, and Sundial as well. These have both had big moves over the past couple of days to the upside. Now, Sundial, unfortunately, today is down about 7%, and Tilray is actually up 2%, so it's starting to outperform Sundial a little bit, which is surprising because both of them were actually moving up off of Sundial News, right? Sundial had a great earnings call. They became very profitable and started moving up massively on that news. Tilray was following them up in sympathy. Now, there are a lot of catalysts that these things have going for them over the next couple of days and weeks, mainly legalization in multiple countries. We're going to break that down. And uh, as well, they also have massive short potential, right? Shorts have really over leveraged themselves on both of these stocks, in my opinion. If you look at Sundial, they have a 15.84% short interest as a percentage of the free float, very high, and Tilray has a 9.23% short interest as a percentage of the free float. So both of these stocks are incredibly shorted. Now, Tilray a little bit less so, but if you look, they are at a 93.9% utilization. Sundial is at a 98% utilization. So both of them have really been shorted close to the max of what they can be, right? Institutions really don't like these companies. They wanted to push them down, and they definitely did, right? Over the past couple of months, you can see that both of these stocks, if you look at the past 180 days, have been suffering for quite a while. Sundial and Tilray both. Now, institutions obviously had their way then. We're going to see if they can if they can continue to have their way now, that there is great news on the horizon for both of these stocks. Now, the first thing that we're going to look at is a Republican-led bill to legalize marijuana. And this is actually something that we've covered on the channel before, right? It's a Republican-led bill to legalize and tax marijuana that has just recently emerged about a week ago. It was introduced by Representative Nancy Mace, a Republican from South Carolina, and we are still waiting on the final version, right? It's expected to be filed officially later this month. She gave us an outline of it, uh, but this is likely going to be changed by some lobbyists and stakeholders uh, because that's who it's been circulated around right now. Uh, people are expecting that we will get the bill later this month, though, so this is obviously really good news for any cannabis stock, right? Sundial, Tilray, Organigram, Aurora Cannabis, Canopy Growth, all of them are going to benefit if this bill gets passed. Now, in my opinion, this bill has the highest probability of getting passed that any cannabis bill has had in the past because it is a Republican-led bill, okay? And that's really important because typically Democrats are the ones who are trying to push marijuana legalization, and Republicans are usually the ones who are on the fence about it. But if this is a Republican-led bill, well, I just don't see Democrats having much of an argument against uh, legalizing it, right? Because, uh, you know, even though they may not want to agree with their Republican-led bill, they have been fighting to get uh, marijuana legalized for quite a while, and it would be almost very hypocritical of them uh, to not legalize it now that there's a bill on the table that Republicans are willing to go along with, especially one that seems to treat cannabis uh, essentially how alcohol is treated. So it's really a very fair treatment, at least how it's been described in the uh, initial version of the bill, right? We're getting the final version very soon, by the end of this month, most likely. So we will see how it ends up being in that in that version of it. But uh, if you look, we do have recent polls that have come out, actually, that show uh, a majority of U.S. adults, including Republicans, support national marijuana legalization. So it's really about time, I think, uh, that this goes through. And uh, in this in this poll, they asked Americans if they support the national legalization of marijuana, and 62% of respondents said yes. So that is by far, you know, that's obviously majority. Now, even a majority among Republicans, right? 54% of Republicans said they back legalization, 68% of Democrats, and 62% of, uh, you know, people who identified as other. So independents, libertarians, all that kind of stuff got grouped in, and 62% of them support legalization. So it is, uh, it would be very surprising to me if we didn't end up legalizing after uh, we have these polls coming out that the majority of the country wants it. I don't see what politician is going to want to stand in the way of the majority of voters uh, and, you know, get bashed by them. But it's looking very promising, right? I'm really liking the look of the Sundial chart and the Tilray chart. Both of these look like they're starting beautiful uptrends and uh, hopefully will continue to move up very high. Now, uh, there is more news, right? Another country, Germany, is considering legalizing cannabis as well. So Germany's likely next ruling coalition is closing in on a deal to legalize cannabis for recreational use, the strongest signal yet that long-awaited growth of Europe's uh, marijuana market is gaining traction. So uh, if this actually happens and uh, all that we expect to happen goes through over the next couple of years, then this move would give a boost to a European market 
for cannabis that is projected to be worth 3.2 billion euros or 3.7 billion dollars by 2025. Now, this is absolutely massive growth considering that the market for cannabis in Europe is currently around 403 million euros, or at least it will be by the end of the year. So uh, there really is massive growth opportunity in not just the United States if we legalize, but also in Europe if they legalize, right? A lot of European countries may be considering this um, because the United Nations late last year decided to remove cannabis from its list of hard drugs. So, you know, give it some time. Uh, countries have waited on this, and now they are eventually deciding that maybe we should start thinking about legalization, right? It is a big ta uh, tax opportunity. And uh, I will say that Tilray specifically could benefit from this because they have a facility in Portugal that says it aims to ship marijuana across Europe. So Tilray already has a bit of a head start. Uh, Sundial could be benefiting from this as well. And a final note that this article brought us is that in the survey at the end of October, 49% uh, of respondents in Germany said that they were in favor of legalizing cannabis. And this compares to 46% who were opposed to it. Yeah, the rest of them were just undecided. And that's the first time since 2014 that more people were in favor in the annual poll of legalizing cannabis than keeping it illegal uh, ever. So uh, or since 2014, actually, sorry. So, uh, you know, it's really looking like all of a sudden, a lot of countries may be thinking about legalizing cannabis. That would certainly be good for Sundial and Tilray. These stocks would both be moving up big on that news. That would be a ideal situation for them. And you can see that interest is growing for both of these stocks on Google Trends. We're going to look at a couple of other metrics in a second. But this is Google Trends. You can see the blue line is Sundial. The red line is Tilray. And people are starting to increase their search volume. You can see a big pump up when Sundial was moving up big on their earnings news for both of these stocks. And then today, both of these stocks maintained relatively high levels compared to how they had been trending the past week. Uh, as well as if you look on Ape Wisdom, this is tracking Reddit and Wall Street bets. Uh, Tilray is the number five trending stock and Sundial is number six. Now, it's actually surprising to me to see Tilray above Sundial. I'm not sure why so many people are talking about Tilray. It's up 22 places where Sundial is only up 10. So Sundial was trending much higher than Tilray. However, Tilray has recently overtaken them with 687% more mentions over the past 24 hours compared to 289% with Sundial. Now, both of these stocks have been trending up today. They've both been moving up. I expect they will continue to move up, especially as more news about legalization and that cannabis bill comes out, uh, especially regarding the fact that both of them seem to be starting nice new up trends, uh, which we haven't seen for a very long time. You can see the last time uh, we saw an uptrend was January, February, March, April, May, I think, uh, May to June, we saw an uptrend and uh, it didn't last very long. It only took us to about uh, $22 on Tilray and uh, around a buck 50 on Sundial. So uh, we are expecting, uh, you know, I'm expecting at least that we will probably beat out those old highs of a buck 50 on Sundial. I think we could certainly do that, uh, especially regarding how their company has grown in such a fundamental way, which we've covered in a bunch of other videos. They had a great earnings call. But you can also see that on stock, Twitch Sundial is the number five trending stock. A lot of people are talking about it there. Surprisingly enough, Tilray isn't mentioned on uh, the most active stocks on stock Twits. It's not actually trending there. It's uh, only beating Sundial out on Wall Street bets. And uh, I really think that these stocks both have huge potential to move up in the future. I'll cover a couple of catalysts just, just really briefly uh, that we've already talked about for the most part in other videos. But Sundial has a massive amount of open interest call options for the November 19th strike date at one dollar, okay, two hundred nineteen thousand to be precise. So, if in the next couple of days Sundial can get up to over a dollar and stay there until November nineteenth, we could be looking at a fairly decently sized gamma squeeze, getting us up even higher than that as institutions have to start buying in. And Tilray, I haven't spent too much time looking at the options, but it looks like they don't have nearly as many uh, as Sundial does. And uh, gamma squeeze potential is somewhat low on Tilray. Tilray is more of a fundamental play. People are just betting on it to do well over the in the near future, right? Sundial is more of the meme stock, but also doing well fundamentally. Uh, it was the one that actually surged the most in the past when it was uh, up all the way up to $4.20 uh, near its highs. This, this chart doesn't actually show it, but if you had the minute by minute, you could see that it was up to above $4.20. People pumped it up there last time in uh, after hours of pre-market. Uh, but both of these stocks, I am very bullish on looking forward. I've been holding them for a long time. Uh, since long before the initial pump, and I will continue to hold them through this pump. So I am very excited about both of these, especially regarding the high short percentages on both of them. That's a lot of shares that are going to need to be uh, essentially unloaded or loaded up, right? The, the shorts are going to have to start loading up on shares because they're eventually going to have to cover their short positions. If these companies start long-term uptrends, who's going to want to be short them? So uh, that's what I think about both of these stocks. I think they could be doing incredibly well. And obviously, this isn't financial advice. I'm not telling you guys to buy either of these stocks. I'm just giving you guys my opinion 
And uh, once again, not financial advice. If you don't like these stocks, don't feel pressured to buy them. I'm just telling you guys what I think. So other than that, guys, feel free to like the video, subscribe to the channel, uh, watch the live streams we do every morning starting at 9 uh, every weekday. We cover the markets and talk about whatever you guys want. In the chat, you guys can post questions and all that. So other than that, have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.